Hey guys, welcome back to Dad's Fox Body Garage. Uh, I just want to give you an update on uh, what we've been up to out here. Just came out here after dinner. It's uh, Monday, the 16th, I guess, of uh, January. Um, over the weekend, had a little bit of time on my hands and uh, kind of cobbled together some electrical here. Uh, what I was telling you the other day. Uh, I was going to do with that uh, switch panel I bought from the uh, swap mate. I'll turn around here and show you what I've been up to. <clears throat> so, wired up the uh, the main here. Everything's got fusible links. Got a relay for the main that activates everything. Um, you turn that off, it cuts the power to the relay and cuts the power to the auxiliary. We have engine start, uh, ignition, and fuel pump. So uh, over the weekend, I verified uh, relay wiring is all good. Um, from there, went into the ignition, uh, primed the motor with uh, the uh, empty distributor, got some oil pressure, brought it up on top dead center, um, set the distributor, ended up cranking it over, uh, saw I had fire. So uh, from there, I went to the fuel system, and as soon as I turned the fuel pump on, it just uh, had gas pouring out the top of the vents. And, uh, you know, this uh, this carburetor over here, I uh, bought it off of uh, Marketplace. As you can see, we're spread out all over the place here. I uh, bought it off of Marketplace, and uh, the guy said it was running well when he pulled it off the car. Well, evidently, he didn't drain the gas. Um, there was a gas line at the very bottom of the uh, float bowls. Everything was all varnished up and gunked up. Um, so, uh, so yeah, we're doing this. So, got everything apart, everything cleaned up. Uh, again, over the weekend, and I just picked this uh, this Holly kit up so I get the blue gaskets. If anybody uh, is going to mess with carbs, you know, all I keep hearing is get the blue gaskets, get the blue gaskets, because. Uh, you know, the black ones tear where the blue ones are reusable. So, again, it's uh, 7 p.m. on uh, on Monday. Just uh, had dinner and uh, going to mess around for about an hour. And uh, other big news is uh, you know, I reached out to uh, the Fox Body community talking about this blower that I ordered from Jags that's now discontinued from uh, Wyand. And... Uh, you know, that was a whole fiasco. You know, you buy it, now you got to get reimbursed and all that stuff. But uh, Fox Body community is great. They, uh, the guys just scoured around and they, they found blowers for sale and or they had blowers. And I must have got a dozen people wanting to sell me blowers. And uh, some of them at some really good prices. And I'm telling you, if I had money, I'd be buying them, you know, because they're like $1,500. So I'm telling you. Anybody looking for one of these forced induction blowers, you know, start poking around on these uh, marketplace or uh, actually the, the Mustang forums, uh, 302 parts, Fox Body, all those kind of guys, because um, they really, they really uh, were helpful. But I didn't go that route. I actually found exactly what I was looking for, but it was through one of the links from the guys on Facebook. He said, hey, I was in the Austin, Texas store of Summit, and they had one sitting on the shelf at the outlet center that had some kind of cosmetic damage to it. It was the polished one, and they were letting it go cheap. So I called up the Austin store, uh, surprisingly talked to somebody at the Austin store, not in the outlet area, but he said, you know what? I think we got one of these sitting on the shelf. And that's funny because I tried to buy one through a local speed shop through Summit. And when they called Summit, they said they didn't have any, right? They, even though the computer says they got them, they said that was an error. They don't have them, can't get them. But this guy knew where it was in the warehouse, dug it out, and it's supposed to arrive tomorrow. So very excited. It's the uh, Wien 174 polished unit. Um going to be putting that on in the near future but again I, like I was saying before you know my plan is to uh, get this thing running the way it is right now I want to get the timing set um, 
I mean, not running for a long period of time because I don't want to put coolant and all that stuff in. I want to fire it, make sure it's firing, get, make sure the all uh, eight tubes are hot, hot uh, running on all eight, and then I'm going to shut it off, you know, once the timing's set. And then I'll pull that intake off, put the blower on, and then I'll start putting coolant in, you know, get it running again, um, put coolant in it, and start going forward from there. But, uh, very exciting it's been a crazy week and again i just wanted to shout out to all the uh mustang guys ford 302 guys uh they were they were great and uh, actually it was uh had a line on two guys that uh were gonna sell them to me and uh, i said well i gotta see how my refund comes through and um you know like i said i got i got lucky with this guy in austin texas so uh that's the route we're going. Um, again, I'm very excited. It's going to be here tomorrow. Hopefully, it's not raining all over when I throw it on my porch. Um, but uh, so tonight, I'm going to try to get this car back together. Dad, I'll be firing it up, or I'll have the cops coming over because I am open headers still. Uh, I have not put the exhaust on. Uh, I do have a uh, full three inch back to uh, the axle, and then it dumps. Um, pipes are outside but I got to get some hardware before I mount them on um, but I'll probably do if I get this back together I might do a fire up this week just just open headers just to get it on get it on tape so to speak right um, I don't know it, it's kind of childish but hey you know that, these, these things are fun all right guys I'll talk to you later